Hi guys, Polly from PA Brewing is got one from the Oliver Brewing Company from Baltimore, Maryland. I've done a lot of Oliver on the channel. I haven't done in recently, but 8% alcohol by volume. Special techniques. Special techniques in hop boxing. So all that stuff. This is Oliver Brewing Company, double dry hop, double India Pale Ale, eight percent alcohol by volume. I got it. Label out. Whoa. Easy. 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 All right. Baltimore, Maryland, since I think '93, '94 in that area. Oh. Oh, 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 ah, okay. Hazy, haze for days. This one's a haze for days or not chicken stock, but damn, getting close, getting into that wheelhouse. Alcohol leg, little pinky of uh, white head, orange chew. Alcohol leg sticking for that 8%. Let's get a Roma, cheers. A little bit of an earthy floral component coming up with a little bit of grapefruit. Kind of a torrified wheat kind of breadiness kind of wafting through. A little spicy earthiness. That's all I'm really getting right now. Nothing too crazy. Is there a date on there? That's oh, all smeared up. Can't see what it is. Here's another. Ooh, wow. All these dates suck. 4-1-2001. So, pretty fresh. Cheers. Pretty easy drinking. That's an easy drink of beer. Nothing wrong with that. Again, torrified wheat tonalities, a little brightness, hints of uh, grapefruit in there, wafting through a little spicy, earthy pepperiness. It's not exactly... Amali's balls, but for what it is, it was easy. There's something in there, too, that wafts around the palate. The soft, soft sweetness. I'm not sure if it's a lactic sweetness or something, but there's just something there. Mm -hmm. Then you get that grapefruit hit. Then you get a little bit of that peppy earthiness that I was talking about, mixing with that like, kind of breadiness. Looks out pretty nice. Almost a hint of a like a lemon in there too, just very subtle. Not crazy, but I'm for what it is. For the rest in. Little chunky chunkies. A little citrus peel, grapefruit, hint of lemon and almost a little twinge of that. Earthy pepperiness, brightness. There's a lot of brightness here. Might be a little bit more dynamic if there wasn't that torrified wheat kind of masking brightness that's a little underlined in the, in the malt base. But or overshadowing, uh, kind of covering. <laughs> I'm trying to use words. Ah. Uh, masking, maybe? I don't know. A lot of these real hazies, that they do have a little bit of that kind of oat torrified wheat tonality that kind of seems to like foreshadow some of the other more subtle flavors. And it makes it a little bit muddy in, in, the, in the appearance or in the mouthfeel or the mouth compounds, the taste compounds. <laughs> but it's not bad. <clears throat> Excuse me. Very, very um, green on the burp, so yeah, pretty fresh still. Come with that cucumber esque green leaf burp. So still has a pretty fresh hop to it. That's why I get it with the, the uh, new trail beers. Sometimes I get them so fresh. Ooh, that was a hell of a hazy little clump that just came out there. I think it was all together, it's getting kind of haze, bro. Bad. Let's see what it says. 
Oliver Brewing Co. Government warning. Blah, blah, blah. Shannon Drive, Baltimore, Maryland. Oliver Brewing Co. At. And then OliverBrewingCo.com. A double dry hopped, double IPA hop with Citra, Citra Cryo, Galaxy, and Idaho 7. Oliver Brewing Co. has been proudly brewing craft beer in Baltimore, Maryland since 1993. Keep cold, drink fresh. Uh, blah, 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 blah. It's all right. It's an all right beer. I'm going to give this in the kind of solid category for what it is. It is a, it is drinkable. It is enjoyable to a certain extent. It's very textbook for hazy double IPA. Um, definitely not a standout at any by any at the point of imagination, but at the same time, drinkable. You just have this grapefruit kind of tonality that's wafting through, an earthy kind of floral tonality that's wafting through, earthy pepperiness as well. Very not, it's not dynamic. And there's a lot of torrified wheat kind of tonality that kind of bleh, on the palate that's, oh, I know, has to be overshadowing some of those more uh, subtle nuances from the hops and things like that and a little bit of malt base. But for what it is, I'll give it a 7.5. It's pretty good. It's definitely solid, so this is probably one of the lower scored uh, beers from the, IP, the IPA area, double IPA area from the Oliver Brewing Company. It's just, it's the hot, man. It's that haze, bro. You're like, I think I think a lot of people should kind of just start tapering off a little bit because I just find, that, like, for instance, I just had one from Captain Lawrence, and if they bumped that haze up, it would have been nothing like it was. You know what I mean? Like, it would just start getting mucky and murky and um, shadowed and overshadowing some of those nice nuances that were coming out of here. So, I think that's got to be the 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 crux of this one. You know what I mean? Slicing the Achilles tendon. If this was a non-hazy brew, bro, brew, bro, brew, um, I think it would be much more dynamic. Anyway, this has been Paul P.A. Brew News. Cheers. Bye-bye. Watch up there. Here it comes. Cheers.